think I found one of the hunters. Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so... Damn. I'm metal too. But my need is greater. The Banyuk don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. An outlander. Chieftain of a Werak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. You're telling me. You fight well. I am a Kree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my Lin went. I was her shadow on the snow, and she was mine. To be a runner with the White Teeth was everything to her. You know this, my Lin, well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. And they came in search of a homeland. Some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well... That's the story I learned, anyway. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rockfall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. 
So let's get her back to the work. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. That's where we're going. The frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things. But it won't have her. Not if we can help it. More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Easy, Aloy.
I can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this lake. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You bored her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you, the ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Lynn? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Letter. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? The work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you? <laughs>